Made it. Welcome to Dolby. Have a look. Busy place, Dolby. Much, much bigger and busier than Warwick. Little mysterious alleyway. And I always find these sort of places really interesting. That is one very lopsided power pole. Doggy. Dolby train station. I don't know if it's still being used for passengers or if it's just for freight and cargo. Nice old station. Are you physically fit? Check your stress level. Sanity. The tension's overwhelming. Will I get my $5 refund? It was for the movie, The Gods Must Be Crazy. And I paid a deposit for it ages ago and they couldn't get it in so they said you could get your money back at a sanity store But then of course all the sanity stores are closed, but this one here in Dolby is still open. So Checking to see if I can get my five bucks. I really don't care. You know, it's just five bucks <laughs> Wow, this is really what I call walking around in Dolby That green stuff That's one constant I've found in country towns. The clock outside the post office is never correct. It's actually nearly 4.30. Dolby Community Corrections. Nice old building. So I'm heading to this big intersection here on Drayton Street. Now that's the Warrego Highway. And this is Cunningham behind me. Oh, and I'm walking under a, a thing. So right now I'm looking for Edward Street and that's going to lead me down to some sort of crossing monument. Walking along, I thought I was coming up on some sort of Catholic thing, but it's, uh, what is this, Disco, Downs Industry Schools Co-op. Alright, I was kind of hoping it might be a disco. Edward Street, that's the one I need, so I've got to go this way. Beautiful late afternoon here in Dolby. Um, and a lot more traffic than I thought. I know the highway is just there but yes it's a much busier town than I thought so I've just found what I've been looking for it's the crossing monument this apparently marks the spot or near the spot where Dolby began oh yeah here we go the crossing camped about the spot in 1841 Henry Dennis Hmm, okay. Sun's going down. I'm getting hungry too. I actually find it kind of ironic that this is the crossing here, this area, and there's a, a bridge going over Mile Creek. Such an important place historically for the, for the development of Dolby. And yet it seems to be pretty much a one-way bridge across the, uh, across the stream. I just saw a, a car trying to get across and I waited for a truck to go. Very nice afternoon. 
We'll go for a wine. Mercy Bridge. This is one full-on engineered bridge. God. You can drive trucks over this. It's really great to see this area along the creek being used by people out walking and jogging and walking their dogs. It's really lovely, except how green all that stuff is in on, on the water. I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's not meant to be like that. Some kind of algae or something. I'm at the Pioneer Park Museum and here it is here. It's only about 8.30 so they've just opened not long ago. And I enjoy going to these these little museums out in country towns and in and cities as well. Oh there's a cat. And um, and they're always so well put together and lots of interesting stuff. But I always find that I get a little bit bored after about 10 minutes at all these sort of places. Nothing wrong with the museums at all anywhere. It's just, I, I go in with all these expectations I'm gonna be going to like the British Museum. And, uh, and then after 10 minutes, I'm like, okay, I'm done now. So we'll see what this place is like. I'm sure it's gonna be absolutely wonderful. 10 bucks to get in. I hope they've got FPOS. Oh yeah, I wonder what frightened it. Petrified. Please ring bell loudly for attendance. So, this is it here. Wedding photo, 1917, Henry and Annie Schumann. She looks thrilled to bits with it. There's an old Betamax movie camera here, Toshiba. I wonder what that'd be worth. I wonder if I can nick it. That tiny little camera just there. The smallest Breville. Early 1900s. Looks like it was some sort of secretarial college here. Now this is from some kid's school book and he or she has drawn a picture of a kangaroo shooting a turkey. It's dated September 15, 1915. It was a Wednesday. I don't know if it's shooting the turkey or just about to stab it with a bayonet. Got a big bottle display here and this was opened by the mayor of Dolby and his name's Warwick. So I says to Mabel, I says, I'll get back to you. This is really a very fascinating pioneer museum. There's so much stuff, it must have taken decades to accumulate it all. Really quirky and unique. It's freezing though, my hands are cold. Mandarins. Now this one's really handy if you want to storm the beaches of Normandy. Now there's some more displays in this building and I've come to the front door of it but I can't see the light switch. So I've got my phone. Old computers. Well, that was my visit to the museum here. I arrived a skeptic and leave a believer. This place was awesome. Definitely do yourself a favor. If you're in Dolby, go to the Pioneer Park Museum on Black Street. So I'm gonna spend a couple of hours walking around the town and just seeing what I can find on foot. I, I drove to the museum because it was a little bit further out, although I could have walked it. But as I always believe, it's better to get out there and walk around and see what you can find. So that's what I'm going to do for a little while now.
there's a sporting field up here and I might be able to get a shot of the surrounding landscape because this is the sort of the north I think the northeastern end of town and I can just see farmland out there so just getting up onto higher ground here and I can see some very new houses out here it's something you don't see a lot of in country towns so it's a really encouraging sight that Dolby's doing well so I'm right on the edge of town now this is I think that's Etty Street back there and there's a sports field over that way which doesn't look like it's being used at all but wow look at that the beginning of the farmland and right on the edge of town here I'm just approaching the Dolby Monumental Cemetery and on the map it's called Cemetery Road it says so over there but it says it's called Stillview Lane on that sign so I don't know which one is correct Monumental Cemetery little look further up here and see what the country's like on the other side of the train line. Something that's occurred to me about Dolby is that it's like a small country town that's suddenly getting a lot bigger. And that's reflected in all the traffic and all the business and people moving here and new housing estates going up. That's just what it feels like for a first time visitor here. I've only been here for about 30 hours. But it's like there's this old Dolby quickly being buried under the new one. Put it this way, it's the first country town I've ever had to worry about getting run over. Right now I'm on Rochdale Street and I'm heading back into the centre of town. I'm going to go back to the hotel and get ready because I want to go out to the... It's some sort of lake conservation thing to the south of Dolby. I don't know how long it takes to get there, maybe about half an hour. This here is the Broadwater Lake Conservation Park, about half an hour south of Dolby. Beautiful place and a very nice afternoon to be here. Apparently there's a lot of kangaroos that come out of the bushland at sunset. I haven't seen any yet, but there's a lot of tracks of kangaroo paws in the, in the sand and the dirt. Just up from the water's edge, there's this little house. A few kangaroos around, um, but the place is dead quiet and dead still. Just a few birds. This fence is part of the original boundary fence between Loudoun and Dundee Station, circa mid 1800s. Tuesday evening and I've decided to go for a little walk around the town. I don't know how far I'll go, probably not too far. It's chilly but not freezing. It's a lot milder tonight than it was last night. And uh, yeah, just see what the town looks like 
after dark. Well, after dark would actually be the morning, so what the sound looks like in the dark. Something I've noticed while walking around, apart from the many trucks, is there's quite a lot of abandoned houses. When I was out earlier today, I went to that sports field, and there was a there was a high ground area where I looked out onto some farmland. There were several houses just along those streets there that seemed abandoned and falling down. And but talking to one of the locals at the museum today, he was saying that oh you. There's, there's no rentals, there's no houses for sale, it's such a tough market, which I'm sure it is. But even this house right here, you won't be able to see it in the dark. That's abandoned. Um, nothing going on there. So what's really going on in Dolby in terms of real estate? There's a number of these little alleyways uh, around about here in the town. They're really neat too. It's, they're not grimy or grubby or anything. Not sure which way to go. So I'll go this way. You probably can't see me much at all here, but I think I'll head back to the hotel now and get a shower and uh, download all the footage from today. And get ready for tomorrow, all being well. Heading off to the Bunya Mountains. That should be awesome. I've heard a lot about it. Always wanted to see them. Just on my way to breakfast this morning, day three, and I saw here on, what's the name of this road? On the corner of New Street in Cunningham, just there, the main road, there's this 24 hour taxi phone number. Well, that's got to have been there for 50 years, maybe 60 years. And it is very cool, it's now three degrees this morning. Beautiful day. I've arrived at the Bunya Mountains. It's about an hour north of Dolby. And not as cold as I thought it would be up here, it's about nine degrees. And the views are amazing. I'm going to a lookout right here. So I found circuit number two walking along. It's about four Ks all up. So just walking along the rainforest path and I found the first really big bunya pine. It's right up there. Well, that one's massive. That is a gigantic bunya tree. I wonder how old it is. These indentations in the trees were a result of the indigenous people making these notches so that they could climb up these very, very tall bunya trees to get the, the nuts up the top, which are the cones, and they would throw them down onto the ground for people to collect. So the theory is that these were notches designed to help them climb up these trees. There it is, Festoon Falls. Apparently the water from here will eventually make its way all the way to Bundaberg.
I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but there's a red belly black snake right in there, and I think he's asleep. He's sunning himself on the rock. Let's leave him to it. I've been walking for a while and I've just come across this little rock pool. You've got to see this. That's okay. I don't mind. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> now I've stopped off in the township of, and I think it's Came Killenbun, and I've just had a beer across the road at the at the bun at the pub. So I'm going to have a little look around the town, see what's here, and I noticed just over there. There's an old railway line. Just walking along Balfour Street and there's a little old church up here. It looks like a ruin. But I'll go and take a look. The front gate is open. I'm sure the locals won't mind if I just have a poke around in there. Well, around the perimeter. I might be mistaken, but it looks like this was converted into being a house for a while, and now it's abandoned. There's another church here, but uh, it doesn't look terribly religious in nature. It looks like it's been also converted into a house. Just a little walk around the town, and I think I can see here at the Memorial Park what the town used to be called. It's Kumkillenbar, just there. But the spellings changed to K-I-M. Kumkillenbar, Kumkillenbar. Um, someone let me know how you actually pronounce this town. Oh, my doggy. Hello, you like tickles. Oh, you like tickles. You do like tickles. You're so smart. You're so smart. Oh, you like tickles. Did you want to come? Yes, hello. Hello. Hello, doggy. All right. Shall we go back to the bar? Shall we go back, doggy? Okay, we'll go back. You show me the way. You lead the way back. I've just left the pub across the road there, and it looks like there's an old shop just up ahead. So I'll go and take a look at it. Actually, I'll get off the road because there's been quite a lot of traffic come through here. A truck just came through before and knocked one of those little... Um, Uh, lovely people have just taken it over it. Well worth a visit. It's getting late into the afternoon on Wednesday, my third and final day here in Dolby. Tomorrow I head back towards Brisbane. I'm walking along Drayton Street at the moment and uh, just want to say what a wonderful time I've had here in Dolby over these past few days. Terrific town, much bigger and busier than I thought it would be. So some of the things I think that could be done differently or improved maybe in Dolby. Footpaths. I think there's a there's a real lack of footpaths once you get out of the central business area. I mean right now I'm, I'm just walking on grass. There's houses over there and they don't have a footpath there either. Um, 
not a big thing where I live in Bean Lee there's areas where there's still no footpaths but there's also no gutters here either so look, small thing that's that's a council thing I'm sure it'll come in time the other thing I thought would be really handy for a tourist is to have the tourist information center on Cunningham Street not out at the park several blocks away um, and on the other side of the, the highway of course there's Google Maps and I had the you can access that on my phone but it would have been great to have a tourist information centre in the centre of Dolby and uh, with, with good maps to hand out and show what's not just in the town but in the surrounding areas as well because I'm sure there's all sorts of little treasures and interesting things that I, I didn't see that so move the tourist information centre into the centre of town where the tourists can find it not out in the park where am I? Owen Street this must be the race course I think Another thing I thought that would be good for Dolby are more options for dining. Now, I went to the Russell Tavern for dinner one night, perfectly fine. Very popular place, the food was great, staff awesome, can't fault it. But you don't always want pub style food. There's, there's so many more things you could serve. Now, there was a place near the centre of town, urban something or other, um, looks like it was built in an old house. And I was really looking forward to going there for dinner, but then I found out they closed at 5 p.m. I think Dolby's getting big enough now where, you know, maybe some finer dining. And maybe they're here. Maybe I just didn't find them. So here's another example of a place where I think an intersection could be. This is the Warrego Highway intersecting with Owen Street. And uh, well, that guy's just gone across there. He got across luckily. It doesn't feel safe to me trying to get across as a pedestrian because there's no lights. So what I do love about Dolby is the variety of things here. Now, for example, the museum that I went to. And it would take days just to look around it properly. I was only there for a couple of hours. Another road to cross. Now there's a doggy there looking at me. I don't know if he's a friendly doggy. So I'll go this way. So the museum was great and more people should go and visit that that museum on Black Street, I think it is. I like Cunningham Street, the main shopping drag through the town. There's a lot of good stores there, stuff you really need, and I needed some camera equipment, nothing much, got that at Harvey Norman. Get some more later night restaurants opening up, later evening cafes, things that don't just close at five o'clock, because I think Cunningham Street is, is one of the best parts of Dolby. Use Cunningham Street, use the businesses there, the local businesses. See if they can open later and, you know, what else can you do along Cunningham to uh, make people spend their money there? And this is more to do with the the area around Dolby. It's just the, so many different, um, like natural things you can go and see. The mountains, Bunya Mountains, the Broadwater Lake. They're at opposite ends of, of the town, but there's the uh, the natural environment use that a bit more because I don't know anyone in Brisbane who's been to the Bunya Mountains of course many people would have I've just never met any of them let people in Brisbane and the Gold Coast know what's here and build footpaths heading back into Dolby now we'll get some dinner thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon.